Hello and welcome to the Recursion Cafe, where we play games from the discard pile. In today's game of Unmatched, we have Ima on the left and Sanzida on the right. Ima is playing Tomoyo Gozen, a solo ranged hero with 14 health and 2 movement. Her ability is that she deals attacks of opportunity, so when the opposing hero leaves her zone, she deals 1 damage to them every single time. Her deck comes packed with movement effects to kind of guarantee this happens at least a few times a game. Sanzida is playing Doctor Strange, a ranged hero with 14 health and 2 movement also. Uh, with a sidekick called Wong who is ranged as well. After each combat, Doctor Strange can deal damage to himself to put the cards that he just played back to the bottom of his deck to draw a card. It's exceptionally powerful and uh, maintains card advantage at the cost of health, essentially, and also manages to recur his cards so that decking him out is very difficult. We have two very strong ranged heroes. Doctor Strange will definitely win the exhaustion game, so it's kind of more on how well Tomoe can burst down Strange's health once he gets low. Both have action gain, as we see here, so Ima, action 1, plays Lord Kiso's final stand, moves up to 3 spaces, and gains an action. So he is now within range to strike a Doctor Strange. It's a very aggressive opening designed to pressure Doctor Strange, and it's a piercing shot into 7 cinnamon buns, 7 sons of Cinnabus. That's it, so no blind boosting needed there, since he does win the combat and takes no damage, but Ima gets the 2 free, uh, card draw, which allows him to keep, keep fueling that aggression. Zeta will trigger Doctor Strange's ability to take a damage and put that card at the bottom to draw another card. This is probably to kind of draw more defenses and keep up. In hand count, so here is a confront any demon or god into Mists of Manipur. Mists will immediately discard that attack card and Emo will discard from the top of his deck until he finds another viable attack card and play that instead. So that demon or god becomes Skirmish, which does 2 damage to Doctor Strange and presumably will move him out of the zone to ping him for a damage with Tomoyo Sen's ability. Interestingly, he moves Strange back into the zone, allowing Strange to double attack him potentially. So uh, I'm not sure why that was the case, but here we go. Uh, Sanzida does trigger Strange's ability to again keep five guards in hand and will attack action one. It's a bolt to attack into Deeds of Valor. Sanzida will guarantee winning the combat by blind boosting and it's a no really I'm a doctor. So that's good in terms of dealing three damage through to uh, Tomoe but it means that some of Strange's healing is gone. So that is the risk of dealing with dark magic in that sense. Here is another boss of Pathak into Dita Valor, and again can guarantee winning the combat to gain an action. It's a Cloak of Levitation, which is a really good card to have, so that's a shame for Sinzida to have to discard that. Uh, but it does win the combat, gain an action, and Sinzida will trigger the ability and again draw another card. Um, not quite keeping the discard pile in order there, but it doesn't really matter so much with Strange. So here is another attack. It's a Winds of a Tomb into the third of Deeds of Valor. That's all three uh, in hand there. So two damage taken, and now uh, Ema gets the place, Strange in a starting space, and then Cecilia gets the place, Tamari in a starting space. So everyone is reset to the start, except there's been damage done and a lot of card played already. So I think Cecilia still has an action after this, which I believe is just a maneuver. So Bolt of Balthag, pretty strong card against someone who doesn't have high defenses in hand. So here is a maneuver and a boost, darting across the map using the secret tunnels, and Emo considers where he wants his position to be. The boost was with the uh, five against thousands, and already we're starting to see the difference in hand sizes. Emo is, I think, down on down to two cards, and Sinzida's just got a bunch. So here's steadfast disciple into no defense. So Wong strikes Tomoe for two, and then deals one more damage for being adjacent, and Sinzida draws a card, as if Strange needed any more card draw. So Tomoe decides to maneuver away and block the secret passageway and again just drawing up because being on such a low hand size is potentially very dangerous. Health total is pretty similar though, 6 on Tomoe's side to 7 on Stranger's side. Wong is kind of there. So here is defense, uh, it is Master of Kamatage, it's a 4 into Refuse to Retreat which is a 3. Tomoe doesn't move and the, the after combat ability doesn't fire because she is not adjacent. So here is a maneuver by Ima darting through the tunnels next to Strange and will attack and it's confront any demon or god into another Mists of Manipur. So unfortunate for Emo, that's a really strong card, but um, I think he was anticipating something like Cloak of Levitation uh, to lose the combat and then look into Doctor Strange's hand. But instead it's a Warrior's Way which doesn't deal any combat damage but can move Strange up to three times, dealing ping damage with Tomoe's ability before uh, Tomoe has to appear next to him. That does mean there are less mists and cloak levitations to defend against Tomoe's 7, 
but at the moment it doesn't look like it's on the cards just yet. So uh, Doctor Strange will use that ability, put mists at the bottom of the deck and draw a card, down to 4 health. And here is a Rings of Ragdoll into a Flash of Steel, so 2 damage through to Tomoe, 1 damage back through to Strange, and no healing because the ability was cancelled by Flash of Steel. I believe Sinzia has another action and will attack. Both fighters are on 3 health. <laughs> Apparently. It was pretty count. close. It was three to three. Okay. Yeah, I would have won. I would have won, won next turn. Yeah, yeah, you would have. I would have won next turn. Well, I have um, to go for it because I only have two cards in hand. Yeah. I don't know. I'd love if I include a debrief. It's gonna have all of us going. Is it you? What? Shut the fuck up. So rude. Did you have each one of us like just pop the face off? No. 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 <laughs> and that's Tomoe versus Strange. So this video marks the 70th on the channel and one year of making content as the Recursion Cafe. Thank you to everyone who has watched, liked and commented on my videos, it means a lot. If you want to support the channel further, please consider getting a coffee at the Recursion Cafe, the link is in the description below. Big shout out to Unmatch London for being an awesome group of people, this channel wouldn't be possible without them. Here's to another year of content, I'll see you then.